Hey, I'm Caleb from Caleb's Aviation, and I've come to the Detroit airport, my home airport, for some plane spotting. It should be pretty fun. I mean, look at that view, man. I mean, what an awesome view at the end of the runway here. I started the video up in this top left corner of your screen where I filmed the intro. From there, I work my way around to the main Delta maintenance hangars over here where we see the special A350. And then I continued my way around the airport, down to the right hand side of the screen, back around, circling around the end of the runway, heading all the way back up around the runway to the parking area, heading back up to the beginning of the runway area over there, heading all the way up down 94 in the top corner of your screen over to the Bob Evans, and then ending my video at the end of the runway. The Detroit Metro Airport began in 1927 as Wayne County, Michigan began to draw plans for a $2 million, 100 square mile area of land at the corner of Middle Belt and Wicks Road, the northeast boundary of today's Detroit airport. The airport construction was completed in 1929 and the first landing at the airport was on February 22nd of 1930. The airport was dedicated on September 4th of 1930, and the forerunner of American Airlines began service from the airport. From 1931 to 1945, the airport hosted the Michigan Air National Guard operations, and was then gained by the United States Army Air Forces. It was named Romulus Field during World War I, and then it was turned into the larger area airport which serves the Detroit metro area today and the smaller airport now known as Detroit Coleman Young or Detroit City Airport was largely disused. In 1949 Northwest Airlines began using Detroit as a major hub for its large aircraft such as 747-400s which were serviced there. It had facilities to accommodate the 747s of the time there, and Northwest Airlines used the Detroit Airport for many of its transatlantic routes in the 1950s, Northwest 60s, and Airlines, 70s. eventually, though, would fall under hard times. In 2008, Northwest Airlines decided to merge with Delta Airlines. The Delta Airlines name would survive the merger, and all the airports of which Northwest used to have as hub airports were to be acquired by Delta. In 2011, the Northwest brand was officially retired, and the Detroit Metropolitan Wayne County Airport became a major hub for Delta Airlines today, who used the main airport's large maintenance facilities for their large jets such as A330s and A350s. After the merger, Everything at the airport which used to be owned or operated by Northwest Airlines was eventually transitioned to Delta, and any remnants of Northwest Airlines was quickly phased out, such as the large maintenance facility hangars I mentioned earlier, and Delta Airlines would go on to acquire Northwest's entire fleet, retiring their last 747-400s in 2016. That's enough history. Let's get to the plane spotting.
Time for lunch. Moe's Southwest Grill. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you had as much fun coming along with me as I had plane spotting today. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to see whenever I post a new video. Because trust me, there are lots more flights and things to come. Until next time, wishing you blue skies and tailwinds.